Hey guys, Jacob with Mortgage Coach. Just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough on how to export Fannie Mae files from your new Encompass 360 version. Uh, so first open up the loan that you want to work on. And then once you're looking at the 1003 here, you want to actually go to the Services tab on the lower left and click on that. Your next step here is Access Lenders. And that's going to open up a new box for you which is going to show the different lenders that you have. Now if you go to the Find Lenders tab like I just did, you'll see that there's a bunch of them that have little green arrows next to them and then there's other ones that don't have green arrows. The idea behind this is we're not actually going to send this loan out to these correspondents. So we want to pick one that doesn't have a green arrow. So in this case I'm going to choose this Amtrust one. Then I'm going to hit Continue. It'll tell me it's request sent, waiting for reply. It's not actually sending it anywhere. What it's doing is it's getting us to the Fannie Mae exporter. So you can see it lists the one you chose up here, but we're not actually sending this to the bank. Instead, the request type here is to export the Fannie Mae formatted file. And you can see that uh, it says and visit lender site. You can choose to just visit the lender site if you wanted to, but uh, in this case, since we're not actually going to the lender, we just want the Fannie Mae export. Now you want to make sure and tell uh, your, your Encompass where to export this to. And you can do that by hitting the Browse button here. And then of course select a, a location that you'd like to export your file to. I'm going to put mine on my desktop. And this one is conventional example. I'll just hit Save. Now I'm going to uncheck the box to notify the AE because there's no reason to do that. And go down to the bottom and hit Continue. Now it'll tell you if it's an incomplete application. For instance, this one's missing a loan number, but these aren't really important. You can feel free to continue through these. Now the next window that pops up is actually going to take you over to the website of the bank that you had chosen, but you can close out of this part. We're not actually going to submit anything through ePass. So we're actually done in the Encompass 360. So we're going to reduce that. And you can see that on my desktop here now, is the file I just exported to Fannie Mae. That's a conventional example here. So what we want to do is we want to go into Analyze and we're going to use the Fannie Mae importer to bring it in. Let me bring up Analyze for you. So in order to bring that importer up, go to the File menu at the top left of your screen and choose Import Data. Now next you're going to select Fannie Mae as your source, then hit Next. Now you want to browse for the file that you saved, so hit the Browse button. And I'm already on my desktop, so this is perfect. That's my Fannie Mae file. Select it and hit Open. And then you've got to hit the Import button up here on the top right. And then your client's name will show in the list here. And you can do multiples. You can do up to five or six of these at a time. But select the box next to your uh, client's name, or hit Select All if you've got multiples. Then hit Next, then Finish. Now to check and see if this came in, we can go over to our client screen here. And this is a different one. This is actually exported, imported from a CSV, but the one I just imported is the second one. So you can see contact has been imported from Fannie Mae. And the cool part about this is that if you have multiple properties like this one did, it brings over both the properties for you. It brings over any mortgages on the credit and any liabilities if you've already pulled credit. So for existing loans it'll bring over liabilities. Obviously you won't have pulled credit for a brand new one, but uh, it will bring over anything you have over an Encompass. But that's the skinny on it guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here at support at mortgagecoach.com um, and I'll usually get back to you within an hour. Thank you much. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.